Connecting in 2021 and beyond online is going to be a bit harder, but I think it's going to be really good. So right now, obviously, COVID pushed us all into this crazy virtual overload to where everybody's had to learn Zoom. Everybody's been doing Zoom virtual meetings, whether it's with two people or 20 people. And we've been kind of thrown into this new thing where like conferences are now going to be virtual, like entire conferences. Like I think the EA uh, conference is all VR this year, which is insane. It's usually ten to 15,000 people. I have no clue how they're going to support that, but they probably have some crazy big brains already working on it. But you can see the world start to change. But right now we're stuck in this like Band-Aid phase where we've already applied the Zoom. We've applied these like uh, webinar meetings where people come in and see these pre-recorded meetings on a regular basis. I'll make a wager that this year and next year, people are going to crave more connection. They're going to want to do like small Q&A panels to where like you're inviting like 10 people in. Let's say we have a marketing guy, me, and we have um, another guy that specializes in an industry. And then we only invite eight CEOs of the type of industry that it affects. And we have a nice little panel discussion via Zoom, via whatever the virtual um, outlet is there. But we like bring them into this more tight-knit group. We actually hear them, what they have to say. Instead of in these current webinar formats that people have kind of evolved into using always because of COVID kind of rushed us into it, to where we're talking, we're just chatting. Nobody gets to really say anything back. If anything, we might catch three or four of the messages because we have an assistant over here watching the comments section. It's really hard to work that way. Um, There's a great example of this, actually. Uh, Grant Cardone has done an amazing movement called the 10X Movement. And I think he's 100% responsible for this movement. And I I think majority of it is because of how he engages his audience. Um, I don't claim to be as good as him at this. He's fantastic at it. Um, But I mean, just the other day, I was invited to a 400 person panel type thing to where we were, he had a team of six or seven. He was in the middle of the room. I could see him live doing things. It wasn't pre recorded. I was sending questions. These people were asking the questions. And then he was answering my question to me. He knew who it was. My screen lit up. And like, it was super interactive. I felt like almost like I was there, about as good as I could get. And I think that's the direction that we're going to keep pushing. So if you're doing any creative thinking this year, start thinking about how you can pull your audience, your customer base into small groups, like think groups, like little think tanks on the side and see how you can pull them together and make them feel heard. I think that's going to be a big deal here in 2021 and going forward. Good luck.